huge lobbying interests may be undermining Congress's ability to combat surprise medical bills. Let's first remind ourselves what we mean when we say a surprise bill. This could be uh, a bill that you receive because you got care that was maybe out of network and you get a surprise bill in the mail saying you owe this much money for a service you thought maybe should have been covered. Maybe you went out of network. Maybe you're being balance billed for the difference between what insurance paid and what you owe as the remainder. Maybe there are deductibles or high out-of-pocket cost, out costs that, that you weren't aware of. Or maybe there was a contracted service that you're being billed for that you weren't aware of, like an air ambulance ride. In a lot of instances, there are more troubles with these out-of-network bills coming because people think they're going in-network, but the physician or the service provider is technically not contracted with that network, and therefore, you get a surprise. Now, this is happening quite a lot. The numbers are pretty shocking. 57% of adults said they've been surprised by a bill. I think that number is actually a little low. Uh, I think it's most people that get a bill and they expect it to be covered by insurance. I think most people have maybe heard about somebody in that situation. The numbers coming out of a couple different sources, and we'll link to these in the description below, show that about one in five emergency room visits result in a surprise. There are a lot of contracted and emergency room physicians that might not be technically in network, even if that hospital is in network for you. One in six insured hospital patients get a surprise bill for out-of-network care. And that air ambulance that we mentioned, that number is close to 70% of air ambulance transports were considered out-of-network. Now, because of this, some states have started taking action. About half of the states actually have some sort of provision on the books that's either going to outlaw balance billing, that's going to make it a little bit harder for uh, a, a large surprise bill to end up in the mailbox of a patient, but only a handful of states are doing this aggressively. In order to be successful, we actually do need a more federal solution since not all insurance plans are regulated by the state in which the individuals are insured. So there's a difference between state regulated plans and federally regulated plans. A law in the state of Texas, for example, would not impact at all anybody insured by a federally regulated plant in the state of Texas. So we need something to come out of the U.S. Congress to combat surprise bills. Now, there has been action both on the Senate side and the House side. There have been proposals tossed around. On the Senate side, there was the Lower Health Care Costs Act that was being tossed around, and it was gaining some support mostly from voters. In a recent Kaiser Family Foundation poll, about 80% of Americans, both sides of the political aisle, support efforts in Congress to tackle surprise medical bills. Now, because of that support and the conversations that are happening, opponents are getting louder. Roadblocks are now in the way of some of these congressional actions, and you can see who it might be from. Physician groups and staffing firms and the private equity firms that back them. These are the companies that employ doctors and assign them to healthcare facilities, whether or not they are all considered part of the same insurance network. There is a huge lobbying effort against the federal bills, and in some cases it's tens of millions of dollars, up to 30 million in one ad buy for a, a lobbying effort to tell people not to support these congressional bills that would limit the amount of billing some of these companies could do to make up the difference for people technically considered out of network. These companies, of course, benefit from the ability to bill out of network. They don't like the idea of putting an end to that, and they certainly don't like the idea of some of the cost controls and price controls that appear in some of these congressional bills. Congress is pushed, therefore, to combat surprise medical bills could be buckling under this huge lobbying interest and a lot of health policy experts and political experts are telling us the closer we get to an election, to that 2020 election, bipartisan action on anything healthcare related could be hard to find. We're not saying these efforts are dead in the water, but there's a lot of pressure, pressure against them at this time. If you want to read up on this topic, and we'll keep you posted here as well, there are a couple articles of interest that we're linking to in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and like the, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date on surprise medical bills and other healthcare topics.